Welcome to part 2, when we dismantle Canon printer MX395 and make it ready for repair. So let's get our tools ready and let's go. By the way, link to part 1 you will find in the description here below. Here we are looking at the main board of the printer and be able to put those pieces apart the upper part from the lower part we need to unplug those cables first one we will do the, the longer one I have uh, taken the camera on the side so you can see better how it looks like it's actually quite easy you just pull it a little bit to the left to the right and try to do it gently and if you put it back in it's the same those things are quite flexible so uh, you cannot damage it very easily but uh, just be careful when you pull it off just uh, drag it a little bit from the right side a little bit from the left side and it should uh, go very easily off next I will take this one off all right so I have zoomed in again so I can view it a little bit more closely hopefully the zoom will stay like that from the left to the right left to the right and there you go next those two cables So I zoomed here again for you. This time I have also the light on. So it's and I like I said I pull it a little to the left, to the right, to the left, and it will get off very easily. The same if you put it back in, just uh, move it from left to right, left to right, and it will easily go in. Then just shoving it straight forward. So here I. Uh, will demonstrate again how I take them off I usually take them by left or right and pull them a little bit from left then pull them from the right left, right, left, right gently and it's off like that the same with those and, and the other one which is a little bit to the right that one here it all goes very easily but let's go now to the difficult one now still on the motherboard here we will uh, unplug two more cables and I will try to show it to you this cable the yellow black one and the ground cable which is located all the way to the left here all right so I zoomed in a bit so you can see it a little bit better how it's done this is obviously very easy so I use uh, a good Phillips screwdriver and even if you don't have the best ones uh, it really doesn't matter because they are not so tight those screws here so uh, maybe actually this one is uh, there we go so in this case the screw was quite tightly there maybe they lose use some dog tight on it no I don't think so so it's unscrewed the difficult connector is over here let me zoom in we are looking now at the most difficult uh, connector to disconnect this is the female part and that's the male part usually uh, they are connected like this And you can pull them off like that but because uh, this type sits very tight together uh, I needed to chip away the bottom side of this female connector to make the disconnection more easy it's not a very pretty way to do it but it's very effective on 
on the bottom side of this connector there is say a lock which locks the male part uh, together and it is the reason why I chip it away because it's almost impossible uh, to take the male part from the female part without uh, breaking the cable. So I will show you a uh, earlier recording how I uh, chipped away uh, the, this bottom side of the connector. I used a, uh, um, a nail and it has a very nice sharp end and I just gradually chipped away slowly slowly uh, to the end of the connector and then the releasing of the male part of the connector is really much much easier. Just be very careful uh, that if you use something sharp over here uh, there are some uh, wires uh, coming through and you could damage them if you touch it with this sharp end of the nail so be very careful how you how you do it all right as you can see here there's a lot of force on the connector and bear this in mind that if you put such, such force on the connector it can mean that you will damage the solder connection it will mean that you have to solder this back meaning taking off the motherboard soldering it back so this could uh, take extra time so bear this in mind be aware Here we can see actually at the same type of connector that it's there but here it's more easy let me zoom in a bit if you view this connector it's upside down and you can put your nail between uh, the male and the female connector very easily and then wiggle it a bit put more pressure and take it off without pulling on the cables itself just by pulling here on that very end However, the problem with the lower one is that those connectors are placed very low so you cannot have a grip on the from underneath and that's why a chipping away of this plastic was more or less necessary for me and um, you do run a risk if you chip it away, you put a lot of pressure on it that uh, the solder from the other side will let loose and that will mean that you probably you need to completely dismantle the motherboard solder a connector back to it but yeah that's the risk one thing worth mentioning uh, it's not always necessary to disconnect this cable you actually can uh, take off the scanner part from the printing part uh, without disconnecting this uh, this will still be connected uh, to the scanner but uh, there is enough cable to um, let it lay down on the side and if you work for example on something from the printer you could actually leave it like that so in, in my case when I take the camera off if you look at it you could leave the cable connected to it there is enough space uh, it's sometimes more uh, difficult to work on things but you just need to wiggle the cable out from this road here and then you will have uh, yeah, enough cable to let it hang it like that so let's go back to disconnecting the cable here I just uh, straighten out the cable it will help uh, when you remove the scanner from the printer once we uh, disconnected all the cables like uh, the ground cable this uh, power cable, uh, those connectors, this one is also free. We are uh, ready to move uh, to the last stage to disconnect the scanner from the printer.
and let's have a look on the back of the printer now all right we are getting now closer and we have like here one snap fit which can be easily uh, opened unlocked just take it with one finger bend it a little bit and pull it up so let me zoom in with this I zoomed in to one of the snap fits if you view the printer from the back this one sits on the left side back left side to open it just bend it a little bit to your side maybe with two fingers then pull the rest up and if you're afraid that it will snap back just put some piece of paper underneath and it will stay like that quite easy so now we have loosened the snap fit on the left side and now we can go to the right side viewing from the back of course now looked from the back of the printer another snap fit is hidden behind the cables I will put the cable a little bit more down to snap it open I will just use a in this case I will use a butter knife and you can put it a little bit like between here snap it a little bit open don't force it too much it just needs a little bit uh, of uh, space and then you can move it up and to make sure that will not that it will not snap back I'll put there a piece of paper like this there you go nice and easy so viewing the back once again the left and the right locked are unlocked and we can actually disconnect the printing part from the scanner part I would just uh, grab the scanner like so and pull it off and put it on the side here and yes we are at the end of the video if you managed to go so far leave a comment give a thumbs up or even subscribe and never use ad blockers because ads keep this video alive thank you for watching once again and see you next time bye bye